The Cheetah Classic, the Ferrari Testarossa. What a car. Beautiful car. Amazing car. You need to own it. In your classic car, Gary Edge. And we're going to open all the doors just to see the internals before we customise it again. And we take it for a wee drive. But you're not going to be dis disappointed with this car. If you win it on the podium this week, which you need to do, it is an essential for classic car enthusiasts, for Ferrari enthusiasts, for car enthusiasts, everybody. <laughs> all, the, all the valid people in the world. <laughs> you know, uh, let's... Uh, we're, right, we're going to customise it. And then... It's in the Sports Classics, and then we are going to take it for a little ride. Yes, we are. First off, we've done all the armour. We've done the brakes. Bumpers, what have we done to those? Well, screw it. Uh, actually, no, let's let's not screw it. Let's look at what colours we're going to go for and what liveries. Do we have a liveries? I don't think we have liveries. No liveries with this one. It's just a primary and secondary colour. So, red is the classic. It's sacrilege to not paint it red. But... Oh, look at that, everything's locked in this place. What a hole it is. <laughs> um, we're going to go with a different colour. We've not decided yet. We're going to roll through these and see which one suits it the best. Orange. Never had a, a, an orange Ferrari. Never had a Ferrari, obviously, you know. It's real life. <laughs> Pretend Ferraris. I can drive simulated Ferraris. I've had lots of simulated Ferraris in my life. That's why. <laughs> All the ladies... No, there are no ladies. There's, well, there is one lady. There are one. There's one lady. Only one lady. And there only should be one lady ever. That's all you'll ever need. It'll be enough for you. Uh, Marina Blue. What about that? What do you think about? That? I don't know. It's it's an interesting one, isn't it? Ooh, Surf Blue. I've never seen that colour before in my life. Of course I have. Marina Blue is like it's like a greyer colour of um, nautical blue. Let's go with that. Come on. Secondary colour, metallic. Matrino red, no, 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 we're not going there. Fist of pink, no. It may be just another blue. Yellow, oh, there we go, the contrasting colour. Can you stand it? Is it too sickening for you? I mean, green, green would be, f no. Green doesn't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, the midnight blue. That's all blue, isn't it? It's all blue. And that is all, all blue. But I think we want to make use of that stripe. Now we've got Mariner Blue, we've got Harbour Blue there. It looks like a Harbour Porpoise colour. That's why I like it. Diamond Blue would be nice. Nautical Blue. I'm just reading out all the blues. Bracing. Let's, let's look at what Ultra looks like. No, that is way too loud. Let's go back to that Harbour Blue. I think that is beautiful. Adds more grey. Oh, look at those lights coming up. They're coming out to play. What a car. It's That is subtle, you've got to admit. Trim colour, graphite. We need to change that now. To ice white. Yes. Oh, we need... Oh, yeah. Crumble on the door. I was about to say something, but I'm not going to. Let's look. Let's look at the bumpers again. So armour and brakes and all that is done to the max. For performance, um, we've got a secondary. Sport with secondary. So this is a very nice looking car anyway. And the secondary colours, I think, are very good. I think you need to go with some kind of secondary. Retro with secondary. Maybe we'll go from a sport to a retro. Does that really add a lot of value? I just paid for a 50 car garage. Is it really worth it? To go f to sport with retro? Ugh. 14 grand, why not? In for a penny. In for a pound. Um, oh, secondary paint. We can do that because it's so subtle. It looks good. We're going to do that. Very nice. Engine block. Okay, so here we go. We can go with secondary colour block. We can go with primary colour block. All that. We're going to go with the secondary colour just because it adds a bit of illumination to my life. Exhaust. Yes, we have exhausts. The quad. It's not. It's, it's arguably. It's not classic, is it? Maybe that isn't classic either. The large. It'd be. Oh, that's not classic. But none of them are. Uh, maybe we'll go with a large board just because it looks a bit more classic. None of them are. Okay, this is not the test. This is a hint at the Testarossa. It isn't it. It needs those lines going down the side, which annoyingly, the um, the Lamborghini Countach has, um, which is kind of annoying. The Torero, the standard Torero, the first Torero classic. Sorry. Let's have a look at this again. So we got these up vents. So bearing in mind none of these are classic, maybe we should go for something a bit different with the vents. 
All right, those vents on the top, I quite like the look of. Actually, that has a, got a classic look to it with those lines. Maybe we should just go black, though. This is not what the Kun... It's not Kuntash. This is not what the Testarossa was, but... We're going to do it because it's not a classic build anyway. It's hard to make the classic. That's not a reason not to buy it. You need to buy it now. <laughs> that is... I like the sport hood. I do like it, but I think that is much nicer and a bit more noddery towards the, the original. So retro hood with primary paint, I think it is. There we go. Very nice. Um, what else have we got? Roof. Oh, sunstrip. We're not going to get that. We're not going to get that. I do like that in blue, though. Oh, Italian. I Italian. It kind of goes with the line, but it's so wrong. I know I'm tempted by the grotty blue strip. It's wrong, but I'm, I don't know. It's not wrong. It's it's wrong for the, the era of car we're going to try to do it. We need a, need a secondary skirt. We're going to go with that one, probably. I like it because like it it's got grotty on the side, so we're going to go with that. I like these little things. Um, the classic spoiler, too. Let's have a wee look if we can colour this up. Anything other than black. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a, what? Which one is the original? I don't remember. Not that one. That's not original. Um, I'm not sure if any of these were original. I think that's what I struggled with. I do like a, I do like a spoiler, um, but that. I mean, maybe I should go for a spoiler. But do we lose traction? Spoil traction without it? Well, let's go back to the. I mean, the start. We do lose some traction, so we need to select one basically. That is not it. That is not it. It's going to be that or that. Classic or that for classic. Oh, let's... Maybe we should put a spoiler on it, you know. Pretend we're in Ignoramus. I like being able to see the engine, though. Um, oh, that! Super spoiler! That jumps out at me as being nice. I'm not, it's definitely not what you should get if you're doing a classic car build, but I don't think any of them are. Sport suspension, we need that for performance. That's the original. Transmission turbo wheels. Uh, wheel colour, what have we got? We've got red there. Oh, that colours up the nut nuts. We've got carbon wheels. I like that. I like that um, being red. I think that's fine to leave it as red. But what kind of t wheel type is that? Um, these are the high end, I think. There we go. The, the carbon inferno. The carbon is an amazing rim, so we're going to leave it on that. It, it looks good in the classic car. So we're going to leave that. Uh, tires, enhancements, bulletproofs, tire smoke. We've got white. We should have a, a black or a blue, even. Windows. Okay, I don't normally limo them out in a classic car. Especially when I've got the nice white interior. But we'll go with a light smoke to go for... Because this is what would have been around in the car back in the day. Not a dark smoke. And that is it. Built. Very nice car. I really enjoy this car. Those are Coquette Classic. They both share my classic car garage, which I may show you one day. Lights are going down. The sun is going down even. Look at those lights. How beautiful is that? Beautiful. How beautiful is that? There's a T in beautiful. It's not a D. Beautiful. Now say after me, in your in your best British accent, beautiful. You are beautiful. That's what you need to say to your significant other. Not, you are beautiful. That's beautiful. 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 There's a T in it. Uh, <laughs> that's my um, elocution lessons there. Yes, I probably need elocution lessons myself, but I, I'm thinking that I'm talking to... Pe I'm, I'm not actually talking to you guys, but I'm talking to people who can't pronounce things properly, um, which is none of you guys, because you are my, my crew. You pronounce everything the correct way. Everything. No matter, even if you say beautifully, it's wrong, but it's right for you. It's not right for me. Oh, look at that fun chum. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, he got up. He got up. I would not have got up off that. I would have been on the floor rolling around. Get your claim in. I've never done that in my life. Um, if, I, if I'd have been knocked off my bike, I'd have been surprised if I was still alive after that one. So, oh, it just drives so nice. This You can race this in sports classic races. And you should do. It's fun. It's such a nice car. Let's get them lights back on. They look so nice. Um, and that's what it's all about. It's got the elegant, the elegant uh, Testarossa look to it, and those flip-up lights—they're just in the in the design. They're just what you want. And I think even in blue, which is not the Ferrari colour, obviously, you know, it looks superb. I was going to go yellow, but that's the Ferrari colour, and you know, it's it just looks good in any colour really. You can pick whatever colour. You can put it in brown, and this would look beautiful. 
beautiful. I'm, see, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it correctly now. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the internals just to finish it off. I do like that you can colour it up and the, the seats are good. I don't think they're in style with the Testarossa, but they, they do look very good. They're a good compromise. They don't look sickeningly awful. So I am happy with it and it gives you the chance to make your own colour. You could colour it up orange if you want a contrasting colour. That's what I should have done in hindsight to make a real modern build. Anyway, this is a great car. Great, great car. The podium car is not as good as this one. Just bear that in mind. But it will look as good as this one or the red one if you build it correctly. Build it and they will come. Your fans will come. They're, your adoring fans will come once you own a car like this because hardly anyone drives it anymore. It corners very good as well. That's me, by the way. Crashing. And a, a super awesome car. And this is one that's going to stay in my classic car garage. For obvious reasons. It's a great car. It could only compete with the, um, the uh, Comet Retro, the Porsche 911 Turbo. That's the only one that could beat it as a classic car of this era. Just bear that in mind when you think of buying this car. Because that is how cheap it is at 600. How much is it? Oh, hang on, this one isn't 600 grand. Oh, but Jesus, I think this one's about nearly a million. I think it's about 900 grand or something. But just win out on the podium, man. Get it for free. Get it on discount. It's ideal. I'm just talking to drag out the video because I want to carry on driving it. I, I understand everyone's tuned out at this point, so drop a like if you've not tuned out because you can suffer the intolerable at this point. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. I really hope you do have the best of days. Onwards to the Krieger. Best car to buy this week.